Hi there. This is my 2017 new N1S. Obviously, before you do any of this, make sure you remove your battery. Everything's disconnected. My battery's on the floor. Um, otherwise, you're gonna have some trouble. So first thing we're gonna do is just going to remove this windshield, which is just two Phillips head screws. And then we'll go around the other side. Okay, now that's out of the way, that'll make it easier to get to the screws that are underneath the front journal lid which is held in by a couple of screws here. And okay, and then what you need to do is get underneath here and just pry it up. And you can actually just do it with your fingers like this. Pops up like that. And there's two Phillips head screws, one here one here. You actually have to pop this whole thing up first. It's relatively easy. comes off. And then we get the screws. So for that I'm going to use it. Okay. This next bit, a bit hard to explain. There's a couple of basically connectors under here, which are really hard to see. Let's see if I get some light on that. Anyway, you can feel it with your fingers. So there's one here, and the other one's over here. And basically, use your fingers, just pop them down. So, I'm just gonna go like this. And you can just move them down, feels like about half a centimeter. All right. And then, you're gonna basically push up this whole thing, basically just slides up. Okay, so with two hands, basically I was able to pop that up and then that just comes off like this. You can see how these connectors hook into there and slide in. They have the light connector here. So I'm just going to pop that off just to make it easier to get this out of the way. And again, I'm just going to take my hand off the camera. Okay, this is the ECU. It's held in by four Phillips head screws. If you ever need to replace it, it's just that simple. Pop those out. Disconnect this connector, and that's it. The SIM card is inside the ECU. You cannot just swap the SIM card, unfortunately. If you have any issues with your SIM card like I do, you actually have to replace the entire ECU. Now I'm ready to put the front panel back on. So I'll start by reconnecting the light and then basically slotting the panel back into these notches here. And then these are and it's hooked part to it, so they just slide in, and then you slide the whole panel up. And again, it's a two-handed job. Okay, so now the panel is clipped back in. It takes a little bit of effort to do that. I think I put these two screws back in. The two screws are in, I can put this piece back in. Just slide it over. Get so that I want the front edge down here. Go. And then this just snaps in the top. Like that. And then put these two screws back in. And we're done. So obviously just check make sure everything works. Got the battery back in, the lights on, and the dash was on. So it's a fairly simple process to get to the ECU and to swap it out or do whatever you need to do to it. Um, hope this was useful.